one of the first things kids learn in math is counting. Counting, you start with stuff, and you're trying to know how much stuff you have. So counting typically looks like something called slide counting, where you go one, two, three, four, five, and so on, until you've counted everything. At Digiblock, we do something that's the same, but takes it a step further. Instead of just counting by ones, we immediately introduce the idea of place value. What we do is kind of subtle, and it looks like this. We call them digi trains. Now, the same number of blocks that are in this pile are on this train. The difference is that we've started to organize them in our holders. Now, the holders will only take 10 blocks. So we're already bundling our blocks in these groups of 10. So instead of always thinking about numbers in this ones view where we see everything one at a time, we can still see all the ones, but they're organized. As kids get better at counting, they'll realize that, oh, this has 10. This has another 10. I can remember that and use that to my advantage and not have to recount all the ones. I can go 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's much faster than counting all of these one at a time. You might even be able to just look at this and know it's 24, whereas I guarantee here you'd have to count. Now there's another way to view the same quantity. We can put tops on the full cars and transition to the pack blocks view. Now just a quick side note, you can't put a top if it's not a full car. It won't stay shut. That's a part of the design. So once we've put tops on, we can now look at the blocks in what we call the packed box view. And we start to see a repeating shape. These ones really look like the tens. It's the same rectangle, the same ratio of width to height. The only difference is the 10 is exactly 10 times bigger than the one. That's because our base has ones, tens, and so on, where the only thing that changes, we're using the same digits, the only thing that changes is the magnitude. The tens are 10 times bigger than the one. So that's why the size of the block is 10 times bigger. Now you can imagine if we had more tens, more blue blocks, and a larger holder, we could make a bigger block. So we have that. This bigger block has 10 blue blocks inside, 10 tens inside, and it's 100. Now, what's so great about a base and what we've done with our blocks is that you can really start to think, okay, what's inside that? It's still one, it's one purple block, it's one block of 100, but what's inside it? So you, in a base, you have 10 of the smaller unit inside, 10 of the smaller place value inside. So 10 blue blocks, and inside each of those are 10 of the even smaller one. We have 10 ones, 10 green blocks. So we really have 100 ones, and then organized into tens, 10 tens, and then organized again into 100.